Meet Rosalie Kelly, Dennis Noopdahl, and Rick Brown. They love to play tennis. The rush, the strategy, and the excitement keeps them on the court many days of the week. And being in a wheelchair isn't going to stop them. They all have different stories, but the city's wheelchair tennis program, which started over a year ago, brings them together. Kelly had played tennis for years before she lost most of the mobility in her legs. Noob Dahl will be a wheelchair user for 39 years in August. When he was on his feet, he had never picked up a tennis racket. And Brown, an all-around athlete, continues to be a competitor despite a severe car crash seven years ago. When I got in a wheelchair, I didn't see any uh, opportunities or avenue to uh, do physical sports. So it's opened up a whole uh, new world for me. Brown has excelled so much that he's integrated into an able-bodied class, and he's a force to be reckoned with. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> but that isn't to say that it was easy. You know, I didn't take to the sport right away. Um, it's been a long, hard uh, uh, discipline. Even though it's, it's hard to start any sport in a wheelchair, just, you know, go for it. Uh, have a good attitude and, if possible, um, hire a good coach or a teacher, you know, so you don't get frustrated uh, with the uh, fundamentals. Good point. Just had to keep practicing a lot and working at it, just like anything else. For those in wheelchairs, opportunities to get active are limited. But the city has provided a space for Kelly, Newt Dahl, and Brown to play a sport they love. It's not lack of court space, it's a lack of people who want to come out and play. I would love to play more, and um, I just need people to come out and play me. <laughs> if I'm playing an able-bodied person, though, they only get one bounce. The rules of the game are the same, except those in chairs are allowed two bounces. You don't have to be in a wheelchair to join the program. All are welcome. We have uh, people that aren't in chairs and people in chairs playing matches at the end of our workout. Everybody's uh, gotten into it. Our games are super competitive. It inspires me in many ways to see someone make the effort to even get out here, wheel in. You know, you have to make sure there's enough room for your chair. And if a ball hits your chair, it's hard. You know, the frustration that comes with it. Whether you get around by wheel or by foot, Kelly, Noopdahl, and Brown give us all valuable advice. There are so many things that you can do that uh, if you just give yourself a chance and um, just have some confidence in yourself, um, it'll happen.